Good morning, I'm Sarah Chitrakar and these are the headlines of the hour. Former Secretary Gajendra Thakur, sentenced to eight years and one month in prison, found guilty of corruption in the Melamchi drinking water project. Uma Gauri Agricultural Cooperative of Morang found mishandling 120 million rupees of depositors' money. Operators used members' assets as collateral to take bank loan themselves. At least 492 people, including 35 children and 58 women, killed in intense and wide-ranging Israeli airstrikes targeting Hezbollah in Lebanon. And Nepal to play against Oman in the triangular one-day series under the ICC World Cup League 2 today. The match to kick off at 9.30pm Nepal time. The special court has sentenced former Secretary Gajendra Thakur to eight years and one month in prison after finding him guilty of corruption in the Milamchi drinking water project. Three others were also convicted alongside him yesterday. The joint bench of chairperson of the special court, Tik Narayan Kumar, members Tej Narayan Singh Rai and Murari Babu Shrestha, sentenced former Secretary Thakur, then executive director of the project, Ramchandra Devkota and Surya Raj Kondel to eight years and one month in prison. However, Shivakumar Sharma, the deputy team leader of consulting firms, Iptisa Betts, JV, received a reduced sentence of six years due to his senior citizen status. The court ordered the recovery of 101 million rupees from Thakur and Kardel and 29.5 million rupees from Devkota and Sharma. Additionally, the consulting firms Iptisa Services and Betts Consulting Services Limited JV were ordered to pay 62.1 million rupees, while the Italian construction company CMC found Complicit in the corruption has been ordered to pay 261.1 million rupees. The Commission for the Investigation of Abuse of Authority, CIAA, had filed charges against 15 individuals, including three former secretaries, on 18th of February, accusing them of corruption in the Melamchi project. Consulting and construction companies were also named as defendants in the case. Another cooperative named Umagauri Agricultural Cooperative from Morang's Dhan Dhanpalthan Rural Municipality has been found mishandling 120 million rupees of depositors' money. It has been revealed that the operators had used members' assets as collateral to take bank loan themselves. This case has also dragged chairperson of the Parliament's Public Accounts Committee, Rishikesh Pokhrel, and his spouse. Umagauri Agricultural Cooperative is not in co operation at the moment. The cooperative led by chairperson Shambhu Prasad Raunyar has taken loan of 115.6 million rupees using members' lands as collateral. There are some loanees that have cleared their loan installments but have not received their assets back. Their land certificates have been used in other banks as collaterals. Meanwhile, cooperatives chair Raunyar has claimed the cooperative is not troubled and that efforts are underway to solve the problems. The cooperatives owes above 20.35 million rupees to its depositors. This case has also dragged chairperson of the parliament's public accounts committee, Rishikesh Pokhrel, as his spouse. Anjala Koirala is one of the members of the cooperative. Koirala has been blacklisted for not clearing her loans from other banks, but she claims that it was blacklisted because of the cooperative. The cooperative's fraud case has once again come to the surface following the arrest of Gorkha Media Group's shareholder, former DIG Chabilal Joshi. The Valley Crime Division arrested Joshi from capital Shankamul within hours of Home Minister's di Director to implement the recommendations made by the Special Parliamentary Probe Committee. Joshi was remanded for five days by the District Court Kaski yesterday. The Kaski District Police presented former DIG and shareholder of Gorkha Media Network Chabilal Joshi at the Kaski District Court in the afternoon today. The District Court allowed the District Police to keep Joshi in custody for five days for investigation. Security had been beefed up as the situation around court premises remained tense since early morning today. 
victims of Surya Darshan cooperatives and caterers of Rashtriya Swatantra Party staged protests in Pokhara's Shahid Chok. <laughs> Robi, क्या रे उसका ये माले का जोले औरु बननी कांग्रेस का जोले औरु बननी आमी कौशल का जोले आई ना आमी हम रो सौ करी को पैसा डूबी को सा हमले पैसा चाइन चाइन यार नो हमले दिन को सौ एक पचास जॉब मार गए को माले बाबू बीरा में उधर ही माले पैसा पाई ना यार नो ते the special parliamentary committee formed to probe into the cooperative's fraud case has concluded. More than 650 million rupees has been transferred to Gorkha Media illegally. The mound includes 50 million rupees from Surya Darshan Cooperative. Earlier on Monday morning, victims had also protested in front of the district administration office, demanding for return of their deposits. They also awaited for the court's order and returned from the court premise after Tabilal Josi was remanded. The Khaski police have begun investigation into the alleged involvement of Joshi. Apart from Joshi, the Special Parliamentary Probe Committee has recommended prosecuting Gitendra Babu, G.B. Rai, Treasurer Kumar Ramtel, Managing Director Rabi Lamichane, who is also the chairperson of Rashtriya Swatandra Party and former Home Minister. Ramtel is in Kaski jail at the moment, while G.B. Rai has been absconding and Lamichane has yet to be arrested. 23 individuals have been injured after a passenger bus met with an accident in a Dunki bus of East Novel Parasi. A passenger bus with Indian number plate met with the unfortunate accident near Binia River, Novel Parasi, Binia Triveni Rural Municipality under the East West Highway. Police have said that the driver of the bus that was headed to India from Kathmandu lost control. Out of the 45 passengers on board the ill-fated vehicle, 23 have been injured. Those injured are being treated at local health institutions. The federal, provincial and local governments carry out special monitoring right ahead of festivals to maintain market equilibrium and to protect consumers from being swindled. However, annual monitorings as such have not given expected results. <laughs> The Department of Commerce, Supplies and Consumers Protection has been sending seven teams every day in recent time for market monitoring. Last Friday, the Central's Monitoring Committee under the coordination of the Chief Secretary decided to send 14 teams to the market for monitoring. The committee decided to form two additional teams to check on the monitoring teams. However, consumers' rights activists say the monitoring have been limited to formality. सबैलाई <laughs> All three tiers of the government have their own authority to conduct market monitoring. However, provincial governments have remained indifferent so far. Even at the center, the government has a history of transferring staff and office bearers of the Department of Commerce, Supplies and Consumers Protection right ahead of and even during festivals, raising question on the effectiveness of market monitorings. This year, too, the government transferred department officials amid market monitoring. The department has included in the monitoring teams two members each from the Department of Food Technology and Quality Control, Department of Drug Administration and the Nepal Bureau of Standards, which experts say raises question on the reliability of monitoring. In our Public Voice segment, we had asked, how aware are you while purchasing quality goods or food?
बने को डेट रहा अंतिम तो एक्सपायर डेट जाए हमें तो हेरे रहा किंडे कर सों खरीद बिक्री कर दाया री सब ये बंदा ठूलो करो इसको डेट कोई ले बने को रहा इसको डेट एक्सपायर मिथि कोई ले समान सा बना तेत्ती कुरा जाए ख्याल अली के दिन अली गरीन गरीन करके चाहो पहला सही इसको कुने भी नहीं हमला ज्ञान थी है ना कुने में � रातो उत्पादन कॉस्टली करें को चाह बनने को रात से माफूले मिनिमम इतनी को रात से यार नहीं करता चुका वाने को मिति कोई ले वरा डेट इस कार उन्हें मिति कोई ले वो बने रह मात्रे यार सांझे सामान किन्दा बने सामान ने रुक गुणस्तर छागी छाई ना बने रह ऐसे जो अब नियाले रह यार चु यह रह गुणस्तर रह जब बने लें जो रोई ने जब बने मॉल लें दिन सामान ले रुक चोर आये किन्नु पता के ढोली पार को चकी तो यह इंचा है ना रख किन्नु इंचा खाद्य समाग्री को उत्पादन मिति रह तेज को एक्सपायर डेट यह निगरे रख खरीद करने गरे कुछ एक्सपायर डेट अन्य यह मेरे जो हम मुझे के सामान खरीद कर चुके हैं मूल्य हैरेरा अथवा ऑनलाइन में चेक करेरा तेज़ सरीज़ है मूल्य खरीद करने करे कुछ तेज़ में पौधे का भाई का केमिकल और उसके किसान तेज़ ले स्वास्थ्य में कस्तो असर कर चुके हैं तो अपन हैरने कर चुके हैं लेबलिंग चाहिए हैरने कर चुके प्राइस चाहिए तेरे में कोई ले चाहिए तेरे म At least 492 people have been killed in intense and wide-ranging Israeli air strikes targeting Hezbollah in Lebanon, the country's health ministry says, in the deadliest day of conflict there in almost 20 years. Lebanon's health ministry said 35 children and 58 women were among the dead, while 1,645 others had been injured. It did not report how many of the casualties were civilians or combatants. At least 492 people have been killed in intense and wide-ranging Israeli airstrikes targeting Hezbollah in Lebanon. Thousands of families have also fled their homes as the Israeli military said it hit 1,300 Hezbollah targets in an operation to destroy infrastructure that the armed group had built up since the 2006 war. Hezbollah, meanwhile, launched more than 200 rockets into northern Israel, according to the military. Paramedics said two people were injured by shrapnel. World powers have been urging restraint as both sides appear to be spiraling closer towards all-out war. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres expressed alarm at the escalating situation and said he did not want Lebanon to become another Gaza. Time now for our segment, Public Pulse, where you text us with your opinion. Public Pulse. Here's the question, what's your take on the absence of a covered hall for volleyball, which is the country's national sport? Your options are A, government's apathy, B, lack of investment, and C, piling pressure could help. Voting is on, type any WS, select your option, A, B, or C, and send it to 34001 to share your opinion with us. That's all for the moment. Thank you for watching. Good day.